especially as a first time mom. That was actually my first time actually witnessing someone, you know, ignore her or make her feel like she's invisible. In a word, the statement. So, let's begin with a question. Is Chuck E. Cheese racist? Uh oh. Do I get earphones? <laughs> you need I can't, I can't even handle this kind of stuff. <laughs> well, we got to talk about it. It's, 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 it's out there, and uh, we're going to talk about this uh, racist thing once again. You know, uh, we know what happened with, um, you know, Sesame Street and so on. So there goes another situation. Mm -hmm. Somewhat, some will say similar, mm -hmm. different. But I have some thoughts. But how about we do some listening first? And then... Uh, I'll come back and share my perspective with you on that. All right, here we are, friends. Let's get to this thing. A family is speaking out after they say a character at Chuck E. Cheese in New Jersey ignored their two-year-old, and the apology they received fell short. Darla Miles from WABC, our sister station in New York, has the story. In the video, there were a bunch of Caucasian children over there. They were on stage. They received the high five. My bad child was the one to get ignored. Chuck E. Cheese ignoring little Safa Muhammad. The two-year-old invited to a birthday party at the Route 23 location in Wayne Saturday. The character gives one, two, three high fives to other kids, but leaves Safa hanging. And when she turned around, she just was excited to see him. She saw that he was giving all the other kids high fives, and she put her hand out. It was her turn, but he, like, put his hand in and then down and act like he didn't see her. Safa is only two years old. She doesn't get it. And keeps trying. The incident comes on the heels of two similar incidents at Sesame Place in Philadelphia. In both, little girls of color are dismissed by costume characters. In this exclusive interview with Eyewitness News, Natiana Muhammad says the experience was beyond hurtful, especially as a first time mom. That was actually my first time actually witnessing someone, you know. Ignore her or make her feel like she's invisible. In a written statement, Chuck E. Cheese says it's saddened when a child has a less than perfect experience and says we want to thank the family who brought this to our attention and for giving the on-site manager an opportunity to apologize and address their concerns in person. Gave the on-site manager an opportunity to apologize when she said, I'm sorry you feel that way? Was that the apology? The 29-year-old mother says she did complain to management who arranged a picture with Safa and Chucky. Her demeanor changed from she was excited, happy, jumping, high five, to when it was time to take a picture, just stood beside mm. her. A harsh lesson for a two-year-old child at a place where a kid can be a kid. And I found her, told her that I loved her and she never has to come back for love because she is loved. Hmm. Many, so, yeah. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get, Get more, more great, great ABC7. ABC yeah, I don't like that. That was hard to watch. I have a problem. I'm a mother. You don't mm. ignore children. Mm. That was horrible. As And for a mother to experience that, mm -hmm. I think we don't, people don't understand that that hurts a mother because we're so connected to our children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm to ignore a child that is like jumping in your face. I don't care how big your helmet is. I don't, they see, we've been at Chuck E. Cheese. Our Chuck E. Cheese is fine. <laughs> they see mm -hmm. all the kids. Mm -hmm. So the whole, if it's a vision thing, if it's a this, it's a that, that was blatant. That was blatant from my perspective. You think so? Absolutely. You don't. Yeah. I mean, I feel sorry for the kid, that little, you know, cause children are so sensitive. Sometimes yeah. they don't understand everything. That's, that's going the issue. On. So yeah, I think. Whether this was intentional or not, it's just like her pain is something we need to understand as a child who's like, no, what's happening in my world? Why ain't getting your attention? That How I could you say that it's not intentional? How know, can you have a little girl tell. jumping in your face and you don't acknowledge them? Give me the breakdown. I don't know. Sometimes you got to call a spade a spade. People don't want to call sin sin. People don't want to. I was just talking with someone today because some lady was addressing how people are going after Beyonce because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in one of her lyrics, she said that mm -hmm. they would use, she could use the scriptures as a tampon. And she's oh. saying, how can you judge her? Beyonce <laughs> knows better. <laughs> yeah, true. Like, I'm sorry. You look at this video. Mm. It's, it speaks for itself. There's not much we have to say to me. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't think it's being sensitive as a mother yeah. to say my child was ignored. 
So Megan said it could be that is also hard to see in those costumes. Here is where I have an issue with I this. I have an issue with it because we take our kid to Chuck E. Cheese all the time. That's what I was going to say. Him. And that's exactly what I was going to say. Not we take our time, kids but... to Chuck E. Cheese all the time. She was jumping. But here's she... the thing. Most kids that are in Chuck E. Cheese suit are like 16 years old. It's, it's like, think about it. Like 16 years old. Are we really saying 16 years old are racist? I don't care about racism at this point. Oh, are we I saying, care about the child are we that was saying, ignored. Yeah, that that you, that we don't. Um, there's no excuse. But when you when you go to Chuck E. Cheese, who do you see working at Chuck E. Cheese that you can say pinpoint without a fact these are and people you, who may not like hold on. kids? So are it's you, like, are, do you are you saying sixteen year olds aren't racist? I'm not saying sixteen year olds aren't racist, but how many sixteen year olds do you find really that are racist? Because I know growing up, this one girl said, did you roll in dirt? Like, I've experienced racism from Mm -hmm. a very young age. Yeah, I'm sure. It 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 does exist. And and all through high school. Mm -hmm. So 16-year-olds can be very racist. Okay. (laughs) I went to a primarily Caucasian high school. Well, in some cases, they they will be because, you know, especially kids at this age and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I went to, I mean, they wrote nigger Mm -hmm. on my trays. Like. Yeah, they were 16. I was 14, 15, 16. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but my perspective racist. is like when you look at Chuck E. Cheese, the environment itself and how it is run, it's almost like you're racist. It's like it'll be nice to see, like, although, although I know that probably won't change anything so much, but it will change perspective though. Like, who is behind these costumes? Well, I think this is the biggest question. So while the manager is giving an account, Where's the costume person in the costume mm-hmm. saying, mm-hmm. hey, I didn't notice her. They would have said I think that would be they would have had a conversation with this person. That was my very next comment. So I'm so glad you said it and not mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. But the question of the day is who spoke to the man or girl, the mm-hmm. female or male in the costume? Yeah. What did they say? I didn't see her. I didn't this. Mm-hmm. I didn't that. The child was jumping. True. Nobody's vision is that poor. And it was a long video. It's not like she walked up and ran away. In the other video, there was a child in the background. Mm-hmm. I can see that with the Sesame Street, but I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm not saying it's a race thing. I'm saying that child was ignored. So, and she's right. There were Caucasian kids up there. Yeah. yeah. It's not, I don't think, I think we become so hooked on saying it's not racism yeah, and it's that we like... take away the fact of like, this is calling a spade a spade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this child was ignored. She was jumping. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, there goes a mother perspective for you. Yeah, yeah. she was jumping. That's my personal. Opinion. What do you guys stand on that? I'm not saying about racism. I'm saying she was ignored. She was and ignored. I know teens can be mean, yeah. very mean. Yeah. So if it's a teen behind there too, they can pick and choose who they want to say high five to just as well as a grown up. True. Could have been a teen in the sesame suit costume. I think that's kind of what I'm saying. It's just for me, I can't say. Like that. that those videos are not enough for me to say that's racist. Exactly, you know Megan. Saying? But at the same time, school can be harsh. Yeah, she was judged on her parents because of the shape of her eyes. You have some beautiful almond-shaped eyes, girls. I've I've experienced the worst form of racism in black schools. I've experienced. Oh, and the that's a worst, great point that you the, said the, because the, the, the worst form of racism I've ever experienced were from black schools being Haitian, and I had an accent, still have an accent. Uh, we were ostracized, me and my brother, to the point where my brother is very is is hot temper. And I had to hold him back several times from killing somebody because I'm the one like, hey, man, calm down, let them talk. Mm-hmm. But it was horrible, you know, and this was being done to us by black men just like us. And some of them were like family members, <laughs> family members who did some of this stuff to us, you know. So so to say racism, it's not just a skin color thing, honestly. It's a matter of the heart. It's, it's a sinful thing that is in the heart of every man, you know. Yeah, I can't denote that to racism, but I can denote that to like, so, I mean, yeah, sure. she wasn't like one foot tall. Yeah, <laughs> like, She was kind of in his way or her way. I mean, yeah. I'd love to hear what the person in the costume This is said. where, yeah, this is where I have to hold my judgment because the person in the costume Did they say, can I didn't tell see, you a whole I didn't lot. Hear, yeah, this is, it in lacks a, a lot of yeah, detail. It lacks a lot. But as a parent look on, looking on, I mean, the child wasn't like being quiet. Yeah. I'm sure her hair was making noise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she got bees. the little bees. <laughs> like, come on. So cute, and those though. things sound like clank, 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 clank. Yeah. Sorry if you guys don't know what bollies are or bees. <laughs> like, that doesn't make a little bit of noise. Yeah. So, all that jumping, mm-hmm. she made a lot of noise. Yeah. So, here's what. Um, hey, Lauren. I do want to say as well to 
go back with what James said, while I experienced racism, racism at the primarily white school that I went to, when I went to the black school, then because of my skin tone, I was called a banana. So I have no problem saying that all people have a lot of racist qualities in them. Oh, yeah. But I don't have a problem saying that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and say black people are too sensitive, white people are this mm -hmm. or that. There is racism among every culture, yeah. period. Yeah. It's just what it is. Mm -hmm. So to sit here and, you know, act like it doesn't exist is mm -hmm. one thing. I definitely was called a banana and different things of that nature. And I'm like, not even that light yeah. as compared to other people. So um, it was hard because you don't fit in. I didn't fit in at any school mm -hmm. at that point. So it's a shame. Yeah. We'll see how but this teens story. Teens can be the cruelest. We're going to wait to see how this story <laughs> develops. All right. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to move on to part two here. Why'd uh, you start me off with something about moms? That's yeah. so fiery. I'm I fired know. up now. I'm <laughs> mad at that Chuck Well, I wanted person. to wait till you get on the channel so we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to just comment because I have a different perspective than you. Yeah. But uh, listen, uh, uh, this is a video I just released earlier today, and I was talking about, you know, sometime. Exactly, think... Darth. Not enough info. To Some... go... Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. About Some... racism. But I do personally think there was some ignoring there.